guys welcome back to my channel in this series I am going to be showing you how I decorated my car with crochet I'm sorry it's raining right now but I had to get this video done um, it's gonna be a four-part series and I'm really looking forward to going through this series with you be sure to watch till the end because I got a special surprise at the end of the video and yeah here we go a driving wheel cover and what I've done here is I put together eight um, well this is seven uh, granny squares sold them together well crocheted them together and I just want to show you the process before I put on the last one here that I am actually putting it together by doing a slip stitch method um, to join them and then this is going to be the inside and then they're going to get folded like this here and then once I have them all they'll be able to go around and they should be able to just stretch onto uh, the steering wheel by going in a round shape like this and this is the outside where um, you can see like the, the stretchiness of it. That's what's going to help it be able to get around the steering wheel. So I just wanted to show you how I attach. I'm going to attach the last piece. I'm making sure that the parts that I've worked is facing up. And then I'm just going to add on this next piece here. And I am just getting my crochet hook and the matching color and I am just putting a slip knot on the hook and then I'm going into the back loops only starting from the first one back loop only of the uh, granny square that I'm attaching and then the back loop only of the other granny square. I'm yarning over and I'm pulling that string through and then I tighten up the yarn here and then I take the yarn and I put it over the hook like that. Then I'm taking the hook going into the back loops only and I'm going to continue that process all the way across. So I'm pulling it through, then I'm taking that yarn and pulling it through to create that slip stitch. Let's do it again, taking the yarn over, taking it through the back loops only, and just try to keep them as even as possible. It's okay if like you miss and like one might be like off like that, you would just alternate it to make it back even if that happens so taking the loop through and then pulling that through and I'm just going to keep doing that process So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I will meet you back at the end. Okay, so I have added on the last um, granny square by using that slip stitch method and I just wanted to show you how I'm going to close it. So I'm going to turn it on the wrong side. And I'm putting it together and I'm taking the, the first um, 
I'm just cutting off that little piece. I'm taking the first granny square and I'm just going to use that same slip stitch method to close this last part. So I'm making sure that the slip stitches are facing up. And I'm just going to do the same thing again to close this last granny square that I just showed you. And so I'm going to do that and then I will come back. And the next scene you will see will be the, um, I'm going to show you how this looks on the steering wheel. All right. Guys, I almost forgot. I did also make this little uh, heart that I'm going to add to the side just to give it some... Uh, pizzazz if you want to know how I made this flower mention it in the comments I'm trying to get some customer uh, engagement or some audience engagement on my channel so if you want to see how I made this go ahead and mention it in the comments and I will make a video about how I made this cute little flower I'm gonna be sewing this on the side of the steering wheel handle and I'm going to go ahead and go put this on the steering wheel. And then um, I'm going to show you guys how it turned out. It's not going to have the flower on there yet, though, because I haven't put... I don't know if I'm going to put this on here right away. But um, I just wanted to show you um, where I'm going with this. All right, guys. Just wanted to show you it's a perfect fit. Check that out. So easy to make. Eight granny squares with four rolls a square will have it on your um, steering wheel just like this. Isn't that neat?